Thank you all for coming on this beautiful night to honor John Giorno, and this is the final event of the um, invasion, the John Giorno invasion that took hold of the city. And i um, very happy to be here with Devin, who's going to join me. So we have a few offerings. Just let me check the light here. I think it's going to be okay. And thank you to these other poets. Wonderful. Be with these sounds and extraordinary voices and incredible wit. And Miguel with his amazing sound. Okay, a few little lines from uh, the Voices Daughter of a Heart Yet to Be Born, inspired by Blake's Book of Thel. And then we're going to do just created in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. patriarchy. And then a uh, piece for a cover of John Giorno's and the Chen Rezig chant. So thanks for bearing with us. Hear voices, lily, lily, infant lily, sing now, walk in garden, come to light, lily, infant lily, never limp in limitation, never lapse, lingo, lily, lily, come to light, in dilemmas use, amuse. Whose lotus self, neoplatonic shadow, primal realm synesthesia, balm of Paracelsus, of Jacob Bohem, antinomian long enough to come into light. Lily, 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 come from alienation, come to light. Lily, lily, lily. Three a.m. patriarchy. Is it just a little curse? <laughs> You trap culture when a free electron collides with an atom. Where does it go? You are continually spreading in all directions since Cro Magnon contagion, Neolithic. Patriarchy out of nothing, anamnesis, unforgetting, out of lethargy, my unforgetting. There were fields, conditions of space, apocalyptic beauties. But I will never forget you, how you fucked with this world. Oscillation meets you halfway to conquer you, patriarchy. I am not your photon, not your waves of probability. I am your diamond fortress, a poet with projectiles, love and gnosis. I am your Swedish spy agency with hacking and cyber warfare, with winter light, fox acid servers impersonated as person legitimately linked into profile page, not your happy profile. I will never forget how you fucked us over. The trees and the greenery and the magic and the mystery and so on, which all partake of primordial space, but I will carry the conscientiousness of your crimes into many lifetimes and never, never wear out my cosmic war of you.
and this is a little sweeter. No, I've just felt so aggressive later, lately. I just want to be an assassin or something. Invoke William Burroughs' Hassani Saba, the great hashish assassin. But anyway, this is, this is with Avalokiteshvara, the great bodhisattva of compassion, Chenrezig in Tibetan, and interesting sort of etymology of the word Trenrezig. It's um, span, I, ras, continuity, and zig, to look. This gives meaning of one who always looks down upon all beings with the eye of compassion, who looks down upon sound and hears the cries of sentient beings who need help. So it's perceiving with sound and the cries, and also related to Kuan Yin, maybe some of you know of. So this was written for the Dalai Lama, who is a, seen as a manifestation of Chen Rezig, and it's uh, in a kind of chant form. Swept away all suffering, gathered it up in a quantum leap, sucked it up till it returned. And when Chen Rezik looked back over his shoulder and saw all suffering come back in a great wave, all suffering, Suffering, riding and filling up nooks and crannies and crevices and templates of the world, all suffering, filling neurons and quarks and leptons, troubling minds of fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, all children, lovers, all sentient <laughs> beings, suffering. Toxins of passion, aggression, ignorance In the middle of the night Strapped in demon mind Nowhere to hide When well, all pounding suffering Rides in and mind splits In a thousand pieces Chen Rezig wept And head split in a thousand pieces And mighty Red fire Buddha Amitabha leans in and puts the puzzle back together, wires it with tantric thread, all suffering, and adds some extra arms, extra heads, a conglomeration of tendencies, this wisdom body to rid the world of all suffering, more arms and heads take charge, build it better, a deity to maximize power of bodhicitta to ease all suffering, suffering. And now Chen Rezig had a thousand arms in all directions of space with numerous a Kutramins and under those arms a thousand hearts better to banish all suffering, suffering of Tibet, of India, of all suffering of Pakistan. Star, wherever his crystal eyes land, whatever map of suffering he lights upon, keep emptying Europe, USA empty, Israel, Palestine empty, China, Russia, Syria, Japan, Haiti, Yemen, and with these thousand wisdom eyes, third eyes, and more eyes in all the pores of his body. Chen Rezig walks among us, humble prince toward all systems of empire, all systems of empire, all the windows of samsara, with his diamond scepter. 
after his skull cup of blood, thigh bone trumpet dissolve in mind, and lotus at his feet arises again through cracks of a concrete city or charnel grounds eternal war. Star flowers shard at dark and shout and shout at shark and shark and dark and shark of a distant galaxy anywhere out of this world. His heart is that big. Build it up better. Back at you, come back. Multiverse moves in the night that never sets. Will Tibet be liberated? Will we be liberated? And planet not royal with dystopia and ghosts of hunger. And will we like the butter lamp gone out in panic of the dark age? Banish the syndicates of samsara. Put away your texts of doom. Turn the wheel again in our frail, fragile Anthropocene. Chen Rezig walks among us, demon of, demon of the, demon of the all saints and all saints and all the hearts of space push push against the darkness 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 Thank you, Devin. Okay, we're going to try to do this cover for John. And John, thank you for blessing us so many years with your extraordinary poetry and your activism and the way you brought so many into that vision of a way to change the frequency of suffering and other stuff. We had our first, I guess it was John's second trip. We went to India together in 72, I think, 72, 73, and then worked a lot together on the dial -a poem events. And I hope you've all seen some of the other wonderful manifestations of John, this extraordinary uh, multitasking demon energy, Yeshe, which means wisdom, his Buddhist name. Uh, many, many wisdoms, many, many parts of our world and our art. Okay, this is Just Say No to Family Values. On a day when you're walking down the street and you see a hearse with a coffin followed by a flower, car, and limo, you know the day is auspicious. Your plans are going to be successful. But on a day when you see a bride and groom and wedding party, watch out, be careful. It might be a bad sign. Just say no to family values and don't quit your day job. Just say no to family values and don't quit your day job. Drugs are sacred. Substances and some drugs are very sacred substances. Please praise them for something liberating the mind. Just say no to family values. Just say no to family values. Tobacco is a sacred substance to some men. Even though you stop smoking, show a little respect. Alcohol. 
alcohol is totally great and let us celebrate the glorious qualities of booze and I had a good time being with you just do it just do it just don't not do it do it just say no to family values. Just say no to family values. Christian fundamentalists and fundamentalists in general are viruses and they're killing us, multiplying and mutating. They're destroying us. Now you know you got to give strong medicine to combat a virus. Who's buying? Who's buying? Good acid. And I'm flying. And I'm slipping and sliding. Slurping and slamming. I'm sinking. Dripping and dripping and squirting inside you. Never fast forward a cum shot. Just say no to family values. Just say no to family values. Milk, milk, lemonade around the corner where the chocolate's made. I love to see your face when you're suffering. Do it with anybody you want, whatever you want, for as long as you want, any time, any place, when it's possible, and try to be safe. In a situation where you must abandon yourself completely beyond all concepts, just say no to family values. Just say no oh, 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 to family values. Just say no oh, 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 to family values. We don't have to say no to family values because we never think about them. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just make love and compassion. John Giorno. Okay, I wanted to dedicate this to John and Hugo and for their wonderful, blissful marriage. And it's a little bit of an excerpt from Over the Hiding of Shape of a Bed, A Tilling of Fields, a sort of same-sex section of a much longer piece. Start from a work of persons and rise up, not like a veil of unsanctified tears. A work in love is never unsanctified enigma, if not but pure flow and consent or rift in the veil, which is sanctuary for persons, be they same or other. As a waterfall never falling in the same sanctuary twice, an abode for our bodies of union of persons, step up to the altar of ancestors together who were union, who were civil, who were convivial behind a veil. Step up, step it up, 
convivial. Show them and rip the veil off the eyes of the enemies of veil. See it another way. Declare the space to be an abode of bodies. See through the waterfall to them behind a veil that was projecting and protecting the face of other. Same face, same base, same trace, same pace, same grace, same lace marriage, a civil veil. Or it is my vow, my vowels and vocables to be this same, which is never that same one in gender constructed eros, eros faced marriage. We are never the same in same sexed love, but law is civil and protects the abode of bodies. Say it, law is civil or rival or riveling or riveting and civet is civilized is civilians in not chilling, in not chilling. Gone is the time of boundaries, of veils, or tears, of borderlines, of enigmas, and hiddenness. Gone is that chilling time that does not witness the desire to be seen, to be witness of this union beyond a boundary, same or reciprocal, or solidarity pacts. It is gone, over, over, and done with that violent time, over, of hiding the shape of a bed, the shape of a clearing in a forest where you lie down soft and mossy spot, and you might come together there, the ancient dark green moss and secluded spot you come to again you of former hiddenness and sorrow and lie down and come together and make do in the secret chamber soft that place you walked there you found a secluded spot where dear bedded down where dear waited and you stepped there and sank there in knees to a very hot devoted love where you ripped the veils from the fear of prying eyes and welcome the presence of a natural world and say something like, as sky is my witness, as earth is my witness, as sky Come hear my weeds and remove these weeds to our sameness. See our sameness, remove the borders as weeds are my witness. Come my hands to your natural weeds and remove the fear of our sameness and see the beauty of our sameness and not sameness. Touch that sameness as sky. Is my witness as earth is our witness. Thank you all, and cheers to John and to Go. Thank you, Devin.